Hello to one and all. Hi, this is Tejas. So in the today's video, let us have a look at the clear filters bookmarks functionality and its dynamic usage in any Power BI dashboard. So I have, as you can see here, I have already built the performance metrics dashboard for the US location. So this particular dashboard shows you various insights for various performance metrics for the US location. So in this dashboard, we have the product drop down slicer, the top end slicer, the customer drop down slicer, the date time slicer, and we also have various clustered bar chart and clustered column chart representing the profits by date information, top sales by product information, top sales by customer information, top profits by customer information, and we also have the map visual that represents the sales information profits information, cost information for various counties of US location. In addition to this, we also have the table consisting of varied, various details of customers and the associated metrics such as total sales, total cost, total profit, cumulative sales, cumulative profit and cumulative cost information. Say for example, if we make change in the time period from a date slicer each and every visual in this dashboard changes as per the as per the date range and if you make any selection from the customer slicer we get the insights accordingly but say for example if we were to get back to the original state at which we were, the traditional way of doing is, is to get back to the early state to what we actually were. But this is definitely a tedious process, right? Which is practically impossible. Say if we had like around 10 to 15 different drop down slicer in a dashboard and 10 to 15 different time slicer, would this really work? It's definitely practically impossible, right? So, in order to make the entire functionality dynamic, let us implement something called as clear filters or clear selection method. So, let us make the same change in the time slicer once again. And let us select one of the customer from a customer drop down slicer. Having done that, if you click on clear filters, we can get back to the original state. Interesting, isn't it? Say for example, if we were to create this particular particular functionality in our project, in a Power BI dashboard report, how do we do that? Let us see, through the, let us see that through the following demo. So let us take a table visual from the visualization pane and we shall take the customer information from the customer table and we shall take the product information from the product table now we shall take the sales information from the measure table called as key measures now we shall increase the grid size by going to format pane let us go to grid let us increase the text size That would increase our text size. And let us take two drop down slicer, one for customers and one for products. Yes, let us take product. Here we go. Now, after doing this, let us create a button. Let us navigate to insert. Let us create a button. Let us go to buttons. Let us take a blank button. Now, let us rename this button as clear filters.
and let us increase the text size. Having done that, we now go to view option. Let us click on bookmarks. Now let us create one bookmark. Bookmark 2. Now let us rename this bookmark as clear filter selection. So we have now created a bookmark called as clear filter selection and we have created something called as clear filters and we have few visualization in a new tab. Let us rename this tab as clear filters. Now let us click on this button and make this button dynamic because that's going to play a magical role. Now let us go to action and enable the action. We have we have it off. Let us make it on. Let us open the action menu bar and under type we need to select bookmark and under bookmark we need to select the clear filter selection. Having done that, we now update the bookmark. Let us click on this ellipse option and let us click on update. So, while creating this bookmark, we need to ensure that we don't have any selection that is being made from this drop down slicer. Okay, now let us make few selections from the two slices. Let us select one of the customer and now let us select one of the product. So we now have two different selection and we have the table visual according to that. Now say for example if we click on this particular button we have everything is place. Did you see that? Pretty well. So thanks a lot for watching. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.